going on guys it's Andrew again with train monkey this is gonna be for the February build it's a new model called the hyena really sweet little EDC model and I'm gonna perform a five degree hollow grind on it using my 2 by 72 I'm gonna start off with 80 grit work my way up to 400 grit it's gonna be a real deep really deep grind it's gonna be razor sharp it's gonna look awesome. So I'm gonna grind this out just in a few passes, show you the finished grind. So here it is with that five degree hollow grind. Took the grind way up towards the spine. It's gonna make for a nice little piece. And just remember, if you go a little bit too hard on your grinding and you start to see like these heat transfer marks into your grinds, it's absolutely okay, especially if you grind prior to heat treat. But after heat treat, you want to go real easy on the grinding. You want to keep your blade as cool as possible. So here I have my ground blade. It's nice and complete as far as my primary bevel is established. But look how trick and cool this is. This is the other service that Water Jet Knives offers. They just cut your handles out for you. This saves a lot of time. And this is just olive drab micarta. And all I'm going to do with two little tabs of super glue, two little dots, I'm going to glue on one side. I'm going to flip it over and drill my holes. After I drill my holes, I'm going to glue on the other side. I'm going to use that first drilled hole as a guide, as a pilot to drill all the way through my scales. And then with this model, we're going to bolt it on. If you choose to use pins, this is your time to actually glue it on and pin it on. But since we're gonna be using bolts, we wanna be able to remove this for our final finish. But that's a pretty cool little service. Saves a lot of time. So now that I have my handles bolted up, you can see they need some rough shaping. And I'm gonna first use my flat platen to square up the spine of it. I'm gonna do a few passes as such. And I'm gonna be doing this 80 grit, 100 grit, and 220 grit so I'm gonna square up the butt and I'm gonna square up the spine just with a few passes and then if you're lucky enough to have a small wheel attachment I'm gonna use that and I picked the appropriate wheel that fits perfect for the curvature of my handle and I'm gonna shape the inside of it so now that I have my spine and my grip area nice and cleaned up I'm going to do a texture on this handle and I have my small wheel attachment and it's a very easy, simple technique to do. I take my knife at about a 45 degree angle and I'll push the handle material into the small wheel and then I will slowly rotate up and then I'll move it, slowly rotate up, move it, slowly rotate up and I will do this on both sides until I get the texture that I see fit. Now there's nothing by the book about this technique. So do it to your liking and it provides an unbeatable grip. So this is just after a few minutes on my small wheel attachment. You can see the texturing pattern. It's nice and subtle. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the entire blade to my sandblast cabinet and I'm gonna blast it with 80 grit media. I'm using aluminum oxide in this. This includes the scales. I'm gonna blast the scales, the entire blade. Then I'm going to remove the scales and do one final blast on the entire blade before it's ready to finish. <laughs> 